this was started by my grandfather in 1930 as a musical instrument repair shop. He was a, a saxophone and clarinet player and repairman and traveled with Chautauqua shows in his early years and ended up opening a store. He was a well-known repairman and started the business. They were downtown originally in a, a building downtown that's now knocked down and uh, moved into this building in the 1950s. I, I worked here, of course, summers and weekends since I could pick up a broom, but I started you know, full-time doing it after I got out of college in the 70s. I got shipped off to the Lion Healy, which is a harp maker factory in Chicago, where I was trained to repair harps. And at this point, I'm really the only harp repairman between uh, Kansas City and Salt Lake City. I, I, you know, I always feel bad. I, I feel like I let my customers down. I always promised them I was going to make it to 100 years, and we didn't quite make that. But, uh, and, uh, and my employees as well, of course. So we uh, got in kind of a bind. COVID didn't help us out any, and we uh, got an offer on this building. Then we uh, decided it was the right time, and, and we're in the process of moving out, closing out, trying to get everything out. And I'll continue to do harp repair from a shop. And, uh, you know, thanks to everybody. I mean, literally, the customers who've been coming in and calling and, and standing here and crying, and, and it's just been amazing. I, I'm not processing it right now. I'm dealing with everything I've got to do to try to get the, the paperwork and the contracts and the, the building and, and, I'm, and, and everything done. And when it's all done, then I'll, I'm I imagine it'll all hit me and it won't be pretty, but right now it's just one foot in front of the other, you know, just keep eating that elephant a bite at a time and try to, try to get it done. <laughs>